Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy here today bringing you another nuclear. This one is an actual nuclear from the Optic House. Currently, it is 3.53 in the morning. The shittiest part about that is that we have to be up, technically up, I just stayed up all night, in 30 minutes because that's when we have to leave for our flight to go to South Carolina. I don't know what Hector was thinking. I don't know what he was thinking. He's back there sleeping right now. But he booked us a flight for 4.30 in the morning. Technically, it's 7. But you know what? It is what it is. We'll get there earlier. It'll end up working out all in the end. But before we get into the commentary, this is my monthly Loot Crate video of the month. If you are interested in Loot Crate, you can go ahead, check out the links in the description down below, and use code OPTIC for 10% off. If you don't know what Loot Crate is, it's a monthly subscription where you get a box filled with goodies with a different theme every single month. And you get to open it and see what you get. It's like Christmas every single month. But let's get into the gameplay just a little bit. So we're playing on Infection here. This was actually funny because I wasn't even trying for a nuclear here. Like, not trying at all. And it might not be funny. But I wasn't trying for one at all until, obviously, I got pretty close. This was actually warming up before our phase match, which you guys will also see on my channel today. But this was warming up before our phase match. I was just playing some pubs, trying to get my shot warm, trying to warm up a little bit. And then I end up pumping out a gameplay like this. It's pretty crazy. I think I end the first side like 43-1. and one, And then after that, I just get completely shit on. I start losing all of my momentum. My rotations around the map start getting a little bit sloppy. And that's what it is. But hey, I ended up getting a nuclear in the end. So, we finally played FaZe. And we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of things. But we finally played FaZe. It was a great match, honestly. I think that it went really well. In my video yesterday, I predicted that there would be around 70 to 80,000. Actually, I said 50 to 70,000, somewhere within that range. We ended up hitting like 80,000 viewers, which is just absolutely incredible. It just goes to show Call of Duty is back in action and it is alive and it's really good to see it's very heartwarming for myself because i obviously love call of duty i'm a competitive player it's what i do it's my job and to see that many people supporting you know the scene and the match especially it was absolutely incredible i had such a great time playing that match you guys will see the final result if you haven't already in the video like i said that will be posted today but this weekend i haven't really talked about it too much we have a tournament our first official tournament a lot of people say totino's was the first tournament we don't really consider it a tournament because it was only a week into the game and, you know, it was, it was sort of like an exhibition type deal where teams only played for a week. We went to the tournament and we played, so, you know, that's that. But this is like the official first tournament where all the pro teams are going. It's a challenger event, so, you know, it's run by Activision. It's part of the Call of Duty World League. This is going to get us points towards Call of Duty Championships at the end of the year and, I believe, towards the first stages, which are the pretty much playoff events. There's two of them. Uh, stage one and two for each season so super pumped about that it's going to be single elimination best of sevens which i'm a little nervous about because single elimination is very very unforgiving but we usually play very well in single elimination formats for example x games was single elimination both times we won that um eswc was single limb i believe we won that i think gfinity was single limb we won one of those, and then the other one we lost to phase in the finals. But single elimination tournaments, we usually do pretty well at. So I'm a little nervous, but I know that we'll do fine. I think, honestly, that we're the best team going into the event. This isn't to sound cocky. This isn't to put the thought in your minds to roast me. If we don't win the tournament, that's not what I'm saying at all. But I think that we're very well prepared. I think that it's our tournament to lose. And I think that if we go out and play 100% and give it our all, we should come home victors. Like I said, this isn't opportunity like if we do if we do lose we lose i'm just saying right now i'm very confident in our team and our abilities and i think that we're going to play well so right here the gameplay sort of wrapping itself up i think that i might have already got the nuclear or i get the nuclear here within the next couple of seconds i th literally there i just got it but the way that i die is so obnoxious just watch just watch this get another kill and somehow they have wraps. I pulled up the scoreboard. You can pause the video. How did they have wraps? Look at them. How did they have them? They had nobody on the other team that was even positive. Thank you so much for watching the video, though, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like. really helps out my channel. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into the video. And as always, this was your boy, Optics Company. Uh, play